a lot of the country in, uh, in Tier 4, some of it in, in Tier 3. What we've been waiting for is to see the, the impact of the, of the Tier 4 measures on the, on the virus. And it's a bit unclear still at the moment. But I think there's, you know, if you look at the, the numbers, there's no question that we're going to have to take uh, tougher measures. And we'll be, we'll be announcing those in due course. I understand people's apprehensions on that. I would just, you know, pay, I would say respectfully to them, I, I think it's, it's wrong to say that schools are unsafe. Schools are, are safe. The anxiety we have as a, as a government is about the role of, of any uh, of schools or any, any activity in spreading the disease. And that's why I would really ask people to focus now, as we roll out the vaccine, on what we can all do to stop transmission and, and what we can all do to follow the guidance. And that's completely untrue. We do have the capacity. Have the, capacity. the issue is to do with the uh, supply of the, uh, of, the, of the vaccine. And there you've got a... It's not so much a manufacturing issue, though that is, is part of it. It's, uh, it's also that each batch needs to be properly uh, approved and, and quality controlled. Uh, because uh, this is a... It's, I mean, I'm... It's fantastic news that we have a vaccine, and we've got two vaccines. We have several vaccines coming down the, the track. And I, actually, I think um, it's been an amazing that it's, it's taken as little as a, as a year to, to produce this. But you've got to make sure it's, it's uh, properly approved before it goes into people's arms, and that's what we're doing.